three. Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. And Matthew Davis. Today we are going to review the InnoGini Share 2. Yeah, uh, it's a fantastic product. Serves a lot of purposes and solves a lot of problems that uh, we actually hear on a regular basis from a lot of our clients. Uh, specifically, the desire to have two cameras going into a single system. Yeah, this is a really cool unit. Um, it's USB 3.0, so you plug it right into your computer. Two cameras and two extra USB ports? Yeah, um, so the nice thing is you could plug in, um, you know, a USB microphone, um, USB speakers if you wanted to. You could plug in a wireless keyboard and mouse dongle. The list kind of goes on and on and on and on. Why don't we show the um, the wiring diagram here, and then we took a video showing it in action, so we'll show that next. Yeah, so what we see here is, as you can see, two cameras. Uh, one is going in straight HDMI. The other port is a DVI, even though it's showing VGA and uh, composite video. The other port is a, uh, well, it has composite video, but it also has DVI. So we're bringing in two cameras for what you'll see here shortly, HDMI and DVI. Uh, we have a uh, USB microphone plugged into it, and other than that, uh, we've got one USB going out to our PC. Yeah, so let's take a look at a little video showing the opening of the box, kind of, and everything plugged in. I'm on the InnoGenie website, we'll show that in a second. We should download this control app. Where's that? Um, I do have it somewhere, well, we're kind of... so. What we're looking at here uh, at the moment is the InnoGenie and its buttons. Uh, so it's got status lights on the front, that front USB is what goes to your PC, and the other USB is what we're using for the uh, wireless chat pod. Uh, the buttons on the top allow you to do camera one, camera two, uh, picture in picture where you're e continually pushing the button moves the quadrant that the uh, picture in picture's in. You've got picture by picture, and then picture out of picture. Uh, the next button in line is a swap, which allows you to swap which, when you have two cameras shown, which one is shown where. And then there's also a lock button, uh, just to, you know, keep everything secure. <laughs> um, this device also features RS-232 control. Uh, it has IP control with a uh, add-on feature uh, that you can buy through InnoGenie, um, which means that this box is a great way to start bridging uh, between the um, integration world so you could use this with a Crestron and Extron system and have it control the cameras much like you might be used to with a Cisco system, a Polycom system um, or you know a litany of other other options. Um, so this really is a nice simple solution uh, to bring dual camera control and mixing capabilities. Now that being said, if you wanted to do content as well, you wouldn't have to do two cameras. You could uh, use the one port for content coming from your PC. Um, so now we're on the, the InnoGenie site and we're just kind of looking at what, uh, what are the things they have here. Yeah, the only other thing we, we didn't set up for you guys, but you saw the buttons being pushed on the InnoGenie unit, which uh, changes all of the uh, video previews for the two cameras. It's also available with an IP control app, as you can see uh, here. It's USB. Oh, it's USB. Yep. So w as long as the unit's plugged into the same PC that that is on, this will allow you to have full control over the unit without having to physically push the buttons. Gotcha. Okay. So if you wanted to do it remotely for someone, you would need like Logman or something. Yeah, so this does have TCP IP control with the right add-on. Hmm. Um, so you would be able to issue commands to it. Uh, there is a list of some of the commands in the manual uh, if you'd need them. Um, but I do really see this as a nice way to start bringing web conferencing into the professional boardrooms uh, and really give re an amazing presentation. Um, you're no longer limited to just what an app's bringing you, the hardware is starting to bridge that gap. Yeah, I mean, this can even really, for live streamers and broadcasters who want to put together a two camera system, yep. um, you know, with a PC based streaming software, whether it be OBS, XSplit, Wirecast, VMix, any of those. This gives you those hardware inputs, um, and I believe it probably takes a load off of your PC by doing all of that it does. In the hardware. Yeah, because you're really only sending one USB 3.0 stream down the line, so it would almost be like having 
a properly proportioned USB 3 hub that's able to do video mixing uh, on the fly. It is really a fantastic idea and they've really done an excellent job at deploying this. I, I can't think of one thing that I would change about the unit at this point. That's awesome. The MSRP is um, $12.95. Correct. Fully tested with our cameras. Yep. Everything works perfectly. That's why we do these videos, to let our customers know options for our camera lines. This is an awesome one. Thanks for bringing it into the sh uh, in today, Matt. Yeah, my pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, everybody. Hit that like button, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you, everybody. Take care.